Hey, yo, what it be, what it do, fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. Okay, the player appreciation week has already been going on for like three days, and I legit just didn't log in all week. I'm addicted to fall, guys. It's a problem, okay? I'm not kidding. It's legit a problem. I've had the game for about five days right now, and I already have 50 hours played. Okay, in my defense, like 20 of those 50 hours were probably me being AFK, like the game still running in the background, but still, man, I played a whole lot of fall, guys. Anyway, dude, there's a lot of shit that I've been missing out on. I know since day one of the player appreciation week the locked items aren't locked anymore so let's just get all into it dude let's get into everything i don't know what the new items are i know there is an axolotl set and i know there were some new suing items but that's all i know so far okay so i think i'm gonna just take a quickie look at the wiki and then we know what the new items are and then we're going to fuck around with that okay this is going to be an organizing video okay we're going to look at player appreciation week and we're going to do some organizing stuff i mean i don't even know what i have in this storage box i know i can open it right now but i want to keep the big reveal for later but there was a mech plant in it and i'm pretty sure there's also two mining mechs in it and night fishing goggles but that's about it i don't know what else is in there this used to be an expensive item box well there's probably nothing more expensive than the mech plant in there but still i don't know what's in there okay i already removed my heart locket from the donation box because i needed to use that in a thumbnail real quick so that's why i already have that motherfucker okay let's go to the wiki oh by the way i think i also want to like calculate how many world locks i have in total in this video i'm just curious okay i'm just gonna search up all the values of the expensive items that i have and then just count them up and see how much i own in total because we gotta be smart about this okay i mean legendary butt is pretty expensive so we gotta know everything we own we gotta know what it be what it do okay let's go to the wiki man um so is this day one yeah this is day one all right in day one they added the axolotl set some guy on a live stream told me that the yeah look at that the scarf hasn't been found yet and literally all the other pieces are from fighting villains except the hoodie up to four drop from harvesting its tree which is made by splicing magic infused stone with pastel pink block what's a magic infused stone okay dude Bro, this rarity one and pastel pink block seeds. Okay, so those hoodies are extremely cheap to make. A rat, a rat, a rat. I don't even know why I'm going over all of this because the people that are watching this video right now probably already know what happened in the first few days. But I don't know, okay? I gotta find it out real quick. Maybe I should have read all of this before I started regarding the video. Added a My Worlds button in the player info menu, which can be accessed by wrenching oneself. If they add a way you can see in which worlds you have small locks as well, I'm probably gonna be fing rich i know i own hundreds of small lock worlds which i just completely forgot about dude 100 sure bro i hope they add that somewhere in the near future i don't think it's in the my worlds option because it says it has to be world locked yeah the button displays a full list of the worlds they have world locked okay 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 changes start music now plays more quietly in general added a slider that allows users to adjust blah 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 blah. i don't care i play grotopia without sound dude ban reason now allows temporarily ban players to see the reason of their ban upon logging in okay that's dope uh maybe don't edit for only the temporarily banned people i mean if you get a lifetime suspension it would be pretty smart to give them a reason as well i suppose but not my problem not my business i don't care and we got quest for the ring now tweak to be easier hell yeah hey the ring quests are coming back man account changes now has implemented some changes to the game that were required in order to comply with the statutory law affecting account creation for underage players below the age of 13 grow id and in-game game name will be pre-generated and cannot be changed wait i just read everything over here but i don't know what it means does it mean that people under 13 aren't able to like change their name and not use the tap joy and blah 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 or does this basically just mean that if you create a alt account or a new account or whatever that in the beginning you can't change your grow id bro i don't know honestly i don't have a new account so i don't care let's go to day two man oh yeah these were the new suing items that i saw on instagram wait let me take a look if they do anything special yeah no they, they are just clothing items. They don't do anything. Okay, next item. I don't care. Chat box timestamps. Added timestamps for all the messages that appear on the chat box, which can be toggled in the player's option. Blah, blah, blah. Notebook. Added the notebook, which can be accessed by wrenching oneself. Hey, that's pretty handy dandy, dude. A notebook is actually dope. I mean, the amount of times I've written world names or whatever just on a piece of paper or on a different tab on my computer. Bro, I don't even know how many times, but the notebook is a good idea. Dope, dude. 
epic. Elegant anomalizers. Hey, this is for the guilty fan. Now balance the recipes for elegant anomalizers. These are all the different blocks and whatever that you get if you do the roll quests. I think I can get toffee blocks right now because I've been doing the surgery roll quests. Oh, god damn. Look at this, by the way. Set online status. Bro. Okay, wait. Let me put it to busy. Oh, that's hella dope, man. Now people will finally not bother me when I'm recording. Dude, I can just put it on busy and then ignore everyone I want to. This is amazing. People can't blame me anymore if I ignore him. Hey, that's dope, dude. Oh, yeah, and this is the notebook. Yeah, it's just a little tab thingy where you can write stuff. But yeah, because I'm surgery level 5, I get those toffee blocks. And let me take a looky look. Requires 20 toffee blocks instead of 2. Oh, wait, they only made it harder. Okay, never mind. I thought they made it easier. That's pretty sad, man. I don't even know what the recipes were before this. Oh, yeah, toffee blocks, steel blocks, and anomalizing pristine, blah, blah, blah. Okay, dude. What else do we have in day 3, man? Show me what it be, what it do. Oh, wait, no, this is still day too. Hey, G-Virus pandemic now starts at every 500,000 infections. That's pretty dope. I don't know how many people get infected each day, but I'm pretty sure it's over like 20,000 or 30,000. Maybe it's even over 50,000. I have no clue. But this probably means that the G-Virus pandemic is gonna come around more often. World Architect now only lets the world owner and admins to fuel the grids. Alright. Trainee no longer rewards the player Caduceus and gives points during the surgery stars clashy fan. Okay, let's go to day three, man. Grow boy. What the f*** is a grow boy? One can be purchased from the store for 100 grow tokens. Wait, I think I have that. I might have that. I don't know. What does it do? Does it do anything? Untradeable hand items. When equipped, it grants the punch range. Uh, okay, I don't care. Okay, look, that's the punching animation, everybody. There you go. I don't care about this item. I don't really like it that much, to be honest. It's a pretty okay item, but it's definitely not worth 100 grow tokens. Tactical stealth espionage device. Literally a f box. 150 tokens for a box. A goddamn cardboard box. This thing better gives a dope effect or whatever. What does it do? Function. When equipped, it grants the punch damage set mod, allowing the player to break blocks faster. It shoots with boxes. You're literally one big box and you're shooting with boxes. I don't know if I like this item, dude. Okay, and then you got a rideable llama. Oh no, it's a llama leash, which costs 200 grow tokens, but this one actually is really dope, bro. Look at that punch animation. I honestly don't even care about the llama itself, but just that punch animation is hella dope, dude. Okay, these last few changes over here also got added in the third day, but not gonna lie, man, this is pretty shitty. Am I the only one that thinks this is pretty shitty? I mean, the best part of the entire player appreciation week so far has been the fact that items are unlocked, but it's not even a new thing or whatever. Items should be unlocked anyways. Like, it's not as if that's anything special. It's like a problem that they should have fixed a long time ago. Okay, yeah, no, I hope they are gonna add more cool stuff with the player appreciation week. At the beginning of the event, I even thought, hey, I might upload daily videos during the event so I can, like, squeeze a lot of content out of it. But yeah, no, there's definitely not that much content in the event right now. But hey, the event isn't over yet, so there's still room for, like, cool stuff to get added. And the items are unlocked. Let's take a look in the storage box, man. There's, like, 100 diamond locks worth of stuff in here. And I don't know what it is, except for the mag plant and the mining max and blah, 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 blah. Bro, please let there be other stuff in here as well. I completely forgot. Literally every single extra extra item which is in here which I forgot about. I see that as profit dude. Those are diamond locks I didn't know I had before. So let's take a look man. Let's do it. 3, 2, 1. Storage box. Oh my f***ing god. There's actually more than I thought. Wait, are these items expensive though? The floating leaf board is pretty expensive. Anubis mask is expensive as well, right? That shit is like 16 diamond locks. Wait, let me look this up real quick. Anubis mask. Bro, 26 diamond locks. Hey, easy claps, man. Okay, I'm rich. I don't care what anyone says. I'm rich. How much is the will of the wild? Also still got that motherfucking item of the month. Uh, it's 240 world locks. Okay. The floating leaf is like two diamond locks. The go anywhere thingy was was also a item of the month, so that's probably one DL or like 150 world locks. Let me look up the mining mech as well. Mining mech is 13 diamond locks these days. Bro, there's legit over one BGL in this box. And I'm gonna double check the mech plant price as well. Mech plant price is 46 diamond locks right now. So yeah, there's over one BGL in this box, dude. Let's do some quick calculations, dude. Two diamond locks plus 26 diamond locks, that's like 28. Plus like another 26, that's 54 diamond 
diamond locks. Okay, plus the two diamond locks of the Will of the Wild. Okay, make it three diamond locks because Angels and Will of the Wild together is about almost three diamond locks. Okay, we still got the grow scans as well. I didn't count the egg hunting basket. So let's just say three diamond locks. That means we're already at a total of 57. Then 57 plus 46 is 103, I think. Bro, I don't know. I'm doing this without a calculator. Okay, shut up. Let's say this shit is like two diamond locks and the night fishing goggles are like three diamond locks as well. I don't care, okay? In this storage box, we got 110 diamond locks. Oh, wait, this is the perfect moment to check the notebook as well, dude. I mean, I was going to put signs down, but I can use the goddamn notebook now. We got 110 diamond locks because of the, the thingy, the storage box. How many pures do I have? Uh, I got about 40 pure. Okay, that brings the total to 150 already. A rat, a rat, a rat. Well, of course, we can't be forgetting about the two mag plants I have. Oh, wait, what the f***? I also still got a dream catcher in here. And a harvester of sorrows. Okay, dude. Dream catcher is like five diamond locks. Harvester is like three diamond locks. Then we got the unstable tesseract, which is like two diamond locks as well. So this is already 10 diamond locks. Plus two mag plants, which is about 93 diamond locks. Another 103 diamond locks in this world, dude. Let me write them down. 103 diamond locks. Okay, let's take a look in the inventory, man. This is pretty expensive as well. We got the trident, which I don't know how expensive it is. I got aurora wings. I got the intergalactic warrior hair. I got the plasma hair. I got the, the jack's head. Of course, can't forget about that. That shit is like 16 diamond locks as well. Oh, and of course, the hard locket as well. Wait, what the f*** is it? That's that's a gold chain. Oh yeah, this is the hard locket. According to gross stocks, hard locket is 105 diamond locks. Thank you very much, gross stockets. I'm gonna write 105 plus. Okay, be right back everybody. Give me like five minutes. Oh, wait. What the f***? I didn't even see that. I got a stethoscope as well. Yeah, no, I'm gonna just go to grow stocks and calculate everything I have in my inventory right now. I'll be back in like five minutes, dude. A few moments later. Okay, done. It's not that precise, but it's about 310 diamond locks. Probably a little bit more because literally the entire jack set is 20 diamond locks apparently. This shit is 270, so that's almost 300 already. Well, as I said before, we got the wings, we got the hair, we got the Stethoscope. It's about 310. Also, the Glove of Giants. And also, still 20 Cave Blast. Wait, where are they? Yeah, there they are. And 12 Treasure Blast. Bro, easy 310 Diamond Lux. Phoenix Scarf, 27 Diamond Lux, dude. Literally updated five hours ago. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and say that that's probably the right price. I also still got hella tickets. Yeah, look at that. 30. And I still got items which are worth some World Lux in here as well. Bro, I don't want to calculate all of this, man. This is gonna take way too long. Can I just say that all the items in here are about 15 diamond locks, except for the tickets. The tickets are more, but like all of these items, that's probably 15 diamond locks together, right? I don't want to do the math, man. I'm too lazy. 30 tickets, man. 30 times 8 is a nice total of 24 diamond locks. Plus the 15 because of the other items, that's 39. And then plus the 27 of that bit. Uh, that's 66 in total, dude. Okay. 66 save do i have any other expensive items i mean there's still a whole bunch of shit in all the vending machines there's also still a whole bunch of shit in the donation boxes but um yeah no i don't think i can count that i don't know how much is in there bro fat boy dragons are like five or six world locks each as well that's at least 40 diamond locks worth of fat boy dragons too oh and the thing i'm a bob of course how much are they these days 21 diamond locks according to grow stocks okay let's just say the fat boy dragons plus the Thing I'm above is a total of 60 diamond locks. And then just because I still got a whole bunch of fending machines in this world, I still got a whole bunch of other items as well. I'm gonna just add another like 10 or 20 diamond locks. I mean, it's probably worth more because I literally also still have 200 batteries in my inventory. Yeah, look at that. Didn't even count those, but I want to use those in a video anyway. So yeah, but um, I'll add another 20. It's probably more than 20. I mean, I got the donation boxes as well. So another 20. Okay, let's do the calculations, man. Uh, that's pretty disappointing, dude. I did the math. It's a total of 7 11 diamond locks. Bro, I thought I had close to like 10 BGL, dude. F I mean, I could probably add another 40 diamond locks if I count all the donation boxes because I already know for sure that there's over 20 diamond locks in there because I was in the world when some dude donated 20 goddamn diamond locks. I legit can't wait to open those boxes, but I just uploaded what's in the box, so I gotta wait like one or two weeks. But bruh, there's a lot of diamond locks in those as well. Hey, now I do know my entire Grotopia net worth. That's pretty handy dandy to know. Let's hope the rest of the player appreciation week is better, dude. Anyway, that's it for today. If there is a cool 
full update tomorrow, there's probably gonna be another video tomorrow. If there's a shit update tomorrow, no video tomorrow. I don't care. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm probably, by the way, gonna stream Fall Guys today or tomorrow. I don't know. You'll see the stream up here, okay? Hope to see you there. Hey, bye-bye, man.